Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Caleb and this is your introduction to Django Forms. So this is a tool that Django has that'll allow you to easily make HTML forms to take data and store that in a database. Now, there's not really a prerequisite for this video. However, it is probably a good idea to have some basic Django knowledge because we're not gonna start from a completely blank project. If you do wanna start from a blank project and get up to this point, then you wanna check out my previous video, which I'll link down in the pinned comment, and that's going to be all about uploading images to Django. And for that, we'll create a Django project, talk about uploading images, and then this video, we're actually going to create an HTML form where you can attach images and upload them to the server. So even if you're not uploading an image, these same principles are going to apply. For example, if you just wanna get a username and password, it's going to be a very similar process. So let's jump into the code and take a look at what we have and what we are going to try and accomplish. Right now we have three main paths, a path to the admin page, which we'll use to check our database objects, a movies detail page, where you can pass in the ID of a movie and get all the information about it, including an image, and then the home page. What these are gonna look like, well, the home page literally just responds with okay, Instead, you could list out all the movies, but this will do for now because all we're going to need is this movie detail page, which will return the movie uh, with that primary key or raise a 404. So we've built the functionality to upload a file to a movie object. I mean, you can see that all in the admin panel, but now I want to create an HTML form where you can actually do the same thing, but not through the admin panel, as well as take the name of the movie as well as any other information you might want about it. So to do this, we're going to start by creating a URL path to upload a file. So we'll put that here. And the path we'll just say is movies slash upload. And the view this is going to hit will be views.upload, which we will create, put a comma there. Now let's go into our views and create that view. So we'll say def, and I'm gonna hide these files for now. We're going to open that up in a minute when we need to create a template, but for now we'll just create upload and this will take the request. We're not gonna need a movie ID or anything like that because it'll be generated when we insert it into the database so we don't have that information yet. To start off, we'll just render a basic template. So this will use the render function and we're going to return that call. So return render and that's going to take the request the template, which we'll call movies slash upload.html, and then the payload, the data we want to pass. And we'll talk about that in a moment, but this is where we're going to pass in the form that we create in Django. So we'll create it on the Python side and then just pass it to the HTML to be rendered. So let's start with that and we'll go over and create that template. So inside of templates, movies, and inside of here, we will create upload.html. And for now, let's just render a paragraph saying upload. All right, so let's test that out on our web page. We will go to forward slash movies, forward slash upload. And you can see we get upload. So everything's wired together, right? Now all we need to do is we actually need to create the form and have it render on this page here. And that's where the fun happens. So we're going to create, well, it's not that much fun, but eh, we'll try to enjoy it. So new file forms.py. And inside of here, we're going to create a form and we can just call it upload form. And similar to how our models will inherit from models.model, we're going to inherit from model form, which we're going to import. So we will say from Django.forms import model form. Now there are other types of forms. So not all of them are associated with a model. The one we're gonna be using for this video is going to be a model form. And basically what that'll do is it'll directly tie the information you put here with the model you've created. So we're basically going to have a name field and an image field. I think this is the most likely use case you're going to have for forms. However, you can look into just a general form as well. So inside of here, we're going to put our attributes and the format's going to be pretty similar to how we defined our model where we just put the attribute and then what it's equal to. And this is going to come from forms.text input, which is also going to need imported. So we'll say from Django import forms, and we're also going to end up needing our model. So we'll say from models import movie. All right, so we got name, and then what's the other attribute we're looking for? Image. So we'll say image, and that's equal to forms image field. Now we're going to have another class in here, which might look a little strange. So it's a nested class and this is going to be called meta. And this is where we're going to put all the metadata about our form, where we define what the model is, which is coming from 
this movie model in our models file. And then what fields we actually want to show on the HTML page, which you can just put inside of a list. So we'll say name, comma, image. So those are the two attributes we're looking for. And those match exactly with these here, name, image. So everything matches and is working. I had the problem at one point where I accidentally named this something else and it wasn't saving that data to the model. So that is how you create the form. Now inside of the view, we're going to create an instance of this form. So we'll do that inside of upload here. We'll say form is equal to upload form, which we can import. This is going to take two arguments. The first is request.post and request.files, which will include that image we've included. And we'll also just print this for now just so we can see it. So we'll say request.files. And then for the payload, we can pass as an attribute form and we're going to pass in the form that we created right here. So when we save this, now inside of upload.html, instead of rendering upload, we could say form. That's going to display the form. So when you do a refresh on the page, you'll get something like this, where it asks for the name and then the image. The formatting's kind of whack, but you get the point. Now inside of the views, we're gonna do a little bit more because what happens if we actually submit that form? So we put an image. Now this just gives you the bare basics where you have those inputs, but there's no button and the form doesn't do anything. So what we actually need to do is we need to wrap the contents of this in an HTML form. So it'll look like this, form, and we'll surround it. There we go. And at the bottom of the form, we can create a button which will submit the form. So now you can put information in here. Hello, choose a file and hit submit. And you can see it has some automatic validation, which is pretty cool. So we'll go in here and choose some file, hit submit. And you can see that it did a refresh and the information went away. So we can define where that information goes inside of the HTML form with some attributes. So we'll say form method is post and then action can be used to define a URL. So inside of here, what we could do is use the URL in Django, and this will be the view that we want to hit. So we'll put upload here in single quotes, and for this, we'll wanna make sure in our urls.py, we give this a name. So we'll say name is equal to upload, fabulous. The last thing we'll need to do is after the action, we will say ink type, so the encoding type, and this is important if we want this to work, we will say multi-part slash form data. So those are the three things you need for the form, the method, the action, and the ink type. So let's try it now. We'll do a refresh, give us some name like Spider-Man, choose a file, hit open, submit, the CSRF verification failed. Well, we just need to include one more thing in our form. And that's going to look like this, where inside of curly braces and percent signs, we just say CSRF underscore token. All right, let's try this one more time. We'll go back, make sure the page is saved, and we'll actually want to go back and then refresh. Spider-Man, open, submit, and now taking a look back at our server running, you can see the image was received and we've been printing that out inside the view where we say print request.files. So now the only thing we have to do is with that request, save the model to the database. So for this, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to check if request.post, then we're going to get an instance of that form, print it out, and we'll check if form dot is valid if that evaluates to true, then we'll say form.save. After we do all that, we can just redirect to the home page, and that will be returned. Now, for this variable down here, which is defined only if that's true, well, that's not going to exist, so we'll just actually just use the class instead, which should work the same way. So we'll say upload form, and that'll actually fix the formatting as well. So let's go ahead and do a refresh and try again. We'll say Spider-Man, choose file, spiderman.jpg, hit submit. We go back to the home page, and basically what happened is it takes that form data, checks if it's valid. 
it should be, so it saves the data and then returns back to the home page regardless of whether the form is valid or not. And we should be able to go to the admin page and see that data. So we'll see admin, movies, movie object, and you can see that image right there. This has the ID of eight. So based on the code we built, we should be able to go to movies eight. And we'll see that information right there. That's the 